Okay, welcome back to members of 121 Community Church in Grapevine, Texas, in our study in Corinthians by Paul uh, at 8056. We look at a recall triad for the remainder of chapter 10, verses 18 through 33, on ethics of separation and axiom of attentiveness. That's ethics of separation, axiom of attentiveness. In block one, we take a look at the Blepete. The temple practice teaches us that as believers we partake in the cross of Christ through the Eucharist. Believers are to negate all forms of idolatry and our participation in the Eucharist mediates our communion with God. And then additionally we have the uh, 1031 verse which is the axiom of attentiveness. Do all things unto the glory of God. Do all things unto God's glory. Now in block two, we take a look at the affirmation of sanctification. We are not to partake in secular activities that oppose Christ's kingdom. We should not provoke Christ unto judgment. In Christ, we have freedom of existence, but not everything is profitable for our sanctification. And then 1032, do not cause others to stumble spiritually. And in that way, we will serve the process of sanctification for all. In block three, we take a look at uh, the examined conscience. We are to negate egoism. We are free from legalistic dogma through Christ. Christ is the Lord over all the fullness of the earth. But we are to build and sustain a healthy conscience for our ethics of freedom in Christ. And that means, in 1033, it means to always work toward Peace, be pleasing, and seek the salvation of others. Don't abuse the exousia liberty we have in Christ. Now we need to pull all that together in our four-point focus to really get that snapshot that gives us a lesson in just a four singular points. So if you look at the four-point focus, Paul's first ethics demands that believers be not conformed to the world. He teaches by positing his axiom of attentive, attentiveness as follows. Believers are to give attention to always doing all things unto God's glory. We are to affirm sanctification by not causing others to stumble spiritually. And then three, we are to become pleasing peacemakers in Christ's kingdom and negate all egoism, practice agape self-giving, negate egoism and practice agape self-giving. So blepete, sunfero, and aresco. Blepete, sunfero, and aresco. Blepete, give attention to doing all things to God's glory. Sunfero, affirm that which is edifying. Affirm that which sanctifies. Aresco, be peacemakers, seek peace, seek salvation of others. So it's blepete, sunfero, and aresco. Which gives us a beautiful recap. But it's all about the fact that uh, you could take really the two concepts of uh, ecclesia for church and blepeto for attentiveness and you could just say those two define the lesson because Ecclesia tells us we are ek, out of, kaleo, called. We are, we are the called out ones. We are called out of the world into fellowship with Christ. So Ecclesia Church means ek, kaleo, called out. And then blepete, we are called out and we give attention to doing all things unto God's glory through Christ. So you could wrap it up in two terms. Ecclesia and Blepepe, ble, ble, Blepete, Ecclesia and Blepete. But Ecclesia is a compound word. It's an ek prefix that just simply means out of, and kaleo means to call. So we are the called out ones. We live in the world, but we do not live according to the world, even though we live within the world. We don't live according to the world. We separate out according to the call unto discipleship and the call unto sanctification. 
So we get a great lesson by Paul, a great teaching, which wraps up chapter 10 and gives us uh, that transition into the practical side of ethics, the practical side of ethics, which is exactly what Paul does. He doesn't leave us in the theoretical. He always moves on to the practical. He moves on to uh, practical wisdom and actual praxis of ministry both. So it all comes down to really the transition in Corinthians around chapter 10 of switching into the practical emphasis now on Paul's first ethics. That'll give us our recall triad. We'll pick up next time in chapter 11, verse 1. It'll be chapter 11, verse 1 next time. And we will, in all probability, be continuing in phronesis, or practical wisdom, practical ethics. I'm sure Paul will continue along this aim of practical ethics.